everyone. So today I'm going to be doing my week six of my 365 days of samples. Um, I skipped last week because I did not have much progress and um, my skin was kind of breaking out and having some issues so I didn't really want to try anything new as far as skincare on my face. So sorry about that. Um, I did skip a week, but I did continue to use the products that I had, and um, some of them did take me the full two weeks to use up, so, um, and some I didn't do very well on still, even though I had two weeks to use them. So I managed to finish up four of the samples within these two weeks, and the first one that I used up was this one. I think the last, um... Last time I picked these new samples, I had already went through this one right here, this primer, the purple one, the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I used up this one, so this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and um, I would use these again. I think I have another sample of this, and I know I have like a deluxe size sample of this one, so I will use them. Um, but I wouldn't go out and purchase them just because like the purple one was okay. Like I did notice that um, it helped my foundation not settle into most of my lines. Um, but by the end of the day, I could see a little bit, but not as much as normal. So I mean, it was good as far as that goes, but um, I don't know. And then this one over here, the backlight one, was actually pretty nice as far as illumination um, underneath my foundation and I did like it but I don't think it helped the wear time of my foundation like I don't think this one really did much other than um, give myself a really nice glow which I did like but I would kind of prefer to have more than I would prefer it to do more than just that so I did like them um, I didn't hate them and I will use them if I have more samples of these, but I won't go out and purchase a full size. So, done with those. The next one that I am done with, and this one I think I drew last time, is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Normal Dry Skin Moisturizer. This is the glow finish. And, um, it was just okay. It really wasn't my favorite. Um, it wasn't awful, but I don't think it was moisturizing enough. And the first time I used it, I don't think my skin really cared for it that much, but I didn't have any bad reactions or anything from it. Just, um, yeah. I don't know. It's just an okay product. I wouldn't purchase it, though. Alright, third product that I used up, this is the Sweet Fantasy Vanilla and Caramel um, Body Lotion from Ulta. And this took me a while to use up. Um, and it was okay. I don't think I would go purchase this. The scent was just okay as well. So, yeah, I'm glad it's gone, um, and I won't be purchasing this one. So I finally used this thing up. Like, you guys know, this has been in, um, these videos for a while now. Um, this is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Full Strength, and I did get every last drop of this out, and I do like it. I don't think I would go purchase the full strength one. I think not, and it's not that it reacted badly to my skin or anything like that. I don't think it was too harsh, but just because sometimes I do have more of sensitive skin, I think I would try, um, I think they have a sensitive one of this or a normal one. I don't remember, but they have another one. It's the same thing, but it's just not full strength. So if, I would consider trying that one. Um, but I probably wouldn't go out and purchase this one. I don't know. I mean, it was really nice. I just, I don't know, something about the full strength kind of, like, makes me a little bit, like, even though I tried it a bunch of times, I just don't feel like I would purchase it with the full strength. Um, but I would want to try the other one out before I purchase it. So I did really like it. Um, but I would be curious to try the one that's not full strength. So those are the samples that I used up completely. And then um, let's go into the three that I am currently working on um, that I have not finished up. So the first one I think I pulled last time, and this is the Amazing Grace Little Perfume. And this is like a long skinny tube, and there's the pop, the, the cap just pops off. So I really don't care for these kind of packaging 
um, with the perfumes. I was using this like you would normally like just kind of dab it on kind of a thing and it wasn't like I felt like I wasn't using any like I obviously was but I wasn't seeing any progress in this so then the next week I started kind of dumping it and like not a lot just like dump it just till it like I could see it start to come out and I feel like it might be a little bit wasteful that way but um it did help me use a good majority of it I mean I still have some in here I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but like it's now down to here and um yeah so still working on this one I was hoping to use this up by this update but um that's okay I'll continue to work on it so the next thing that I'm still working on and probably will be for a while um I don't necessarily want to take it out of this project just because I don't want to try and pull more items like this from these bags and try and see which one I use you know I kind of want to focus on one or the other so this is the Arvazia again I don't know how you say that but um professional series hydrating argon hair mask and I really do like this like I really really like this I actually um squeezed all the product out and put it in this tub and there's still so much like I do alternate this between like every other I use it in every other shower oh you're not gonna be able to see but um because it's white on white Duh. but um yeah there's a good amount in there still so I'll be working on this one for a while now like I said my skin was kind of breaking out like crazy and acting up and I did not want to put anything new on it I just wanted to use the products that I knew that I liked and that worked um so not that I think that this would have aggravated it at all but I just didn't want to use any skincare that I didn't know um on my face so I didn't even touch this which is like surprising because this was like something I was kind of excited about. This is the Pure Thomas Roth Clinical Skincare Oilless Oil 100% Purified Squalene. Squalene? Squalene? Something like that. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to use it this week, but I didn't even touch it. So I still have a lot to go on this one. Alright, so let's draw some new products. We're gonna draw a skincare sample. They're all samples. We're gonna draw a skincare foil packet sample. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay, so this, um, I have tried the eye cream that came in the set, it was here, and I did not care for it. It was too heavy under my eyes. But this is by L'Oreal, and this is the Age Perfect. Hydra Nutrition Day Cream and Night Cream, I believe. So yeah, that should be interesting to use. Um, a little bit nervous about this because my skin just started getting better and the last thing that broke me out was something that was heavy and really thick. We will see, we'll see. I'll try it, but we'll see. So I am pulling from the body hair. And this is Camille. Skin Firming Body Lotion with Argan Nut Oil. Firms and Smooths. Okay. That's cool. Alright, I'll try that out. Unfortunately, we won't be picking hair care, um, which kind of sucks because this is, I feel like, the most bulky thing that I have. Like, has the most stuff in it. And I probably won't be pulling for this for a little while because of the hair mask, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're not going to pull another fragrance because I'm still working on the philosophy one. We can pull um, a makeup sample. Oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> she loved that. I know what's in here. Okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to work through a primer in my uh, Project Pan and I only have the tiniest bit left, but I never use it because I'm always using primers from this, um, from the samples. So that's okay though um so this is the laura geller new york uh spackle treatment makeup primer i think it's supposed to even skin tone yeah even skin tone so that's cool i will use it um yeah i think most of the things left in here are primers but something different i did use up the peel and as long as it's not another oil that's totally fine so I ended up pulling out this Sephora mask, and this is a sleeping mask. Okay, 
So that's interesting. That'll be um, fun to try. It's anti-aging and smoothing. So do you sleep in this? I don't know. I'll have to look at it and read it up. But So that'll be fun. A nice mask to try. I'm excited about that, actually. Yeah, those are my four new samples that I will be using this week, along with the three samples that I need to finish from the previous week. So that is everything I used up for samples. I drew four more. I've got three that I'm still working on. So I've got a total of seven samples that I will be working through this week. And hopefully I will get it all within one week and be able to update you guys next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know down below. I'm interested to know what you guys thought of them. Don't forget to subscribe for more and thumbs up the video if you liked it. And I will see you guys later. Bye!